So I bought this truck and it's got some rear drums on it that are super rusted and really stuck on the truck. And yeah, I've done all the tricks. I beat it, I've heated it, I've sprayed penetrating oil on it. Nothing's moving these things. So got online and found this tool uh, that's supposed to basically be a brake drum puller. And uh, first thing I can tell you right off the bat is it comes with a strap. <laughs> Don't even open the plastic on that. Just throw it away, piece of shit. Um, so, grab a second strap here from... Get those taps in. Let's see, the strap one-handed. You want a pretty good strap to wrench that thing in there. My uh, desk cover's bent, so I had to take a little chisel and poke in there to give enough space even to get in there. Um, concept though is you get that hooked in there and you can take and spin this thing and it's supposed to pop it off, but I'm having a hard time getting that second one hooked. Alright, so we got that thing kind of in there. In theory, you just crank this thing. So, first side popped off real easy. This one's giving me a lot more trouble. What I may do is grind these down just a little bit so they stick in there better. Yeah. Pause the video and I'm going to do that a little bit and be right back. Hopefully you can see that. I just ground a little notch in the back. Those things have a nice taper to them that I think is pushing that out of there. So I took just a hair off. Let's see if that makes any difference. I'm sure it'll solve the world's problems now. need two people to do this job and hold that in place. That made any difference. That baby stuck. It's got a good hold back there. It's, I mean, it's not the tool's fault. It's just stuck that bad. Yeah, that takes a
Okay, I don't think it's gonna work. We're gonna try an air hammer. This one's not super strong, so. Longer my strap, I guess. All right, so I figured out a little trick with the tool, I guess. <clears throat> as far as keeping it on there, they've got these little notches on the side where your belt or your strap looks like it's supposed to go in between those. But if you actually move the strap all the way to the ends, so it's on the very tip of it, and then tighten the little crap out of it, it seems to be holding a lot better. I've got quite a bit of pressure on there at this point. I'm going to try a combination and see if I can heat. So, took a combination to get that bad boy off. But, it is off there. And I pulled, so. Overall, I'd give that tool about a 9.5. The only thing I would say sucks about it is the strap that comes with. So, definitely worth the money. It didn't bend or do anything wrong with the tool. It just is one hell of a stubborn brick drum.